From Wayne to Pomp and Lakes to Patterson, the award-winning news center. 71 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Good afternoon, I'm Patrick Lavery. North Jersey residents who want to provide input on New Jersey Transit's proposal to eliminate a bus line originating in Butler will have their chance to speak starting this afternoon in Wayne, where officials will gather for a hearing at the township's municipal complex. The proposal calls for discontinuing five routes in total and adjusting service on six other routes. If were to be implemented as proposed, they would take effect in September. That's spokesman John Durso Jr. NJ Transit says the changes made on routes that either suffer from low ridership or compete with train or light rail services will save more than three million dollars a year. Today's is the second of two hearings held by the transportation agency on the matter. The first yesterday in Newark. The Wayne Municipal Complex is located on Valley Road. New Jersey's Supreme Court has sided with a condo resident who was fined for putting campaign signs in his window. Wasim Khan put the signs in his window at the Mazda Brook Commons community in Parsippany in 2005 when he was running for local office. Within days, he was told the signs violated the condo association's policy and he was fined. A judge ruled in the association's favor. An appeals court found in 2010, though, that his constitutional rights to free speech had been violated by the sign restrictions. In a 5-1 to one ruling today, the state Supreme Court agreed that the condo policy violates state free speech laws. Pompton Lakes officials are asking Passaic County Sheriff Richard Burnick to reinstate the SLAP program. The News Center's Mike Forte reports. Stated it was necessary to cut the sheriff's labor assistance program due to a budget cut of nearly three million dollars. Now, Pompton Lake School Superintendent Dr. Paul Amoroso says officials are trying to appeal to the sheriff to reinstate the program. The borough also adopted a resolution recently asking the sheriff to consider reinstating that program. It's free labor through the sheriff's program, and we used the uh, workers down at Hirschfield Park to clean up uh, a number of times. During the flooding in the last few years, we also use them to do some painting for us. Amoroso says the school board has a resolution to transfer surplus money into the capital reserve account to be used for the following year. The program saw low-risk inmates perform community service throughout Passaic County. For the North Jersey News Center... Over 150 recruits graduated this morning from basic course training with the state's Department of Corrections. They were administered the oath of office at the War Memorial in Trenton. According to DOC Public Information Officer Matt Schumann, who has information on local participants. Over 158 officers that were graduating. Um, there are two from Passaic, one from Morris, and six from Bur the recruits, or rather now full-fledged corrections officers, completed a 15-week program covering various areas related to the administration of law enforcement. In your midday market update, it's Diamond's Day of Reckoning. Lawmakers are pointedly questioning CEO Jamie Dimon over how J.P. Morgan Chase was able to retain trading losses of more than $2 billion. Right now, the Dow Jones down 24 points at noontime, the NASDAQ down 3, the S&P 500 also off by 3. North Jersey News Center time is 12.05. Here's your News Center forecast brought to you now by Sky Tech Construction in Ringwood. Cloudy today with a high of 7 79 degrees tonight, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy with a low of 60. And tomorrow on Thursday, partly sunny with the high once again 79. Currently 71 degrees under partly cloudy skies. From the North Jersey News Center, I'm Patrick Lavery. And now with a check on North Jersey traffic conditions, here's Pete Toriello. We want to advise you of construction work on Route 4. And it looks like this is going to be affecting traffic in both directions in the area of Grand Avenue in Englewood. They'll be out there till about uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, working on the shoulder, but also in the right lane. Also, we'll be watching for delays on Route 23 southbound as you're coming in from Pompton Turnpike in Pequannock. We have a partial blockage of the ramp that goes from the uh, Pompton Turnpike onto the southbound side of 23 because of a fallen tree. Our traffic report is brought to you by Garmin. The Garmin Nuvi Personal Navigator comes with a bright, easy-to-see touchscreen, a nice, easy-to-hear speaker, and uh, oh, did we tell you that most of them even offer you lifetime map updates? Go to Garmin, learn more about it. Garmin.com, the most trusted name in GPS. I'm Pete Toriello, North Jersey Traffic. Have a good afternoon.